Hello and welcome back to Premiere Gal. On this channel, you'll find the tutorials and resources you need to create better videos. And if you're new here, I'd encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I make new tutorials every week. So in this video, I'm excited about this effect. I'm going to break down how to create the sweet color split effect that I saw in one of BTS's music videos called DNA. To create this type of effect, you need to make sure to film your actors, your subjects, or the dancers in front of a green screen. Make sure that they're not wearing green, by the way. And I've included a link to a budget green screen kit that I actually got from Amazon in my description box below. So for this tutorial, I use some green screen dance stock video shots from Pond5. I use a lot of stock video from Pond5. It has a huge collection of royalty free stock video and other creative assets. So shout out to Pond5 for providing these clips for free. And I've linked to the specific shots that I used in my description box below. So here's one of the green screen clips in a sequence I called shot one. And the first step is to remove the green screen background. It's a process called chroma keying. And you can use a free effect inside of Premiere Pro called ultra key to do this, or you can use some chroma key plugins. I used the Boris FX Primat Studio. The reason why I chose this is that it's a lot easier to achieve a chroma key much faster and you have way more precision and accuracy as opposed to the ultra key effect. But I've included Included tutorials on how to use both. If you would like to use the ultra key effect, I've included a link in the description box below. If you want to see how Boris FX Primat Studio works, you can also check that out as well. So once you remove the green backdrop, the background is black, which essentially just means that it's transparent and it's ready for you to place any other background below it as a replacement. And later in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a colorful backdrop from scratch that you can place behind the video using the essential graphics panel. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to create a more cinematic look as well as add some cool glitch transitions. Okay, so let's get started. Let's first move this video clip to video layer four on the timeline because we're gonna have three duplicates below on video layer three, two, and one. So to duplicate it, let's click and hold the Alt Option key on your keyboard at the same time, drag it down to video layer three and release the Alt Option key. So now we have a duplicate layer, but it's hidden behind the first layer, right? So let's change the position. So to do that, let's go up to the effect controls and let's move this layer off to the left using the X coordinate here. And now you can see that there's a duplicate beneath the original clip. And of course you can move this and scale it up in any fashion that you like. I just move mine to the left for the sake of this particular clip. All right, so now let's go back to effects and let's search for the tint effect. And to apply it to the clip on video layer three, just make sure it's selected and then double click on the effect to apply it. Now from the effect controls, we can change the tint to any color we want to achieve that sort of colorful split effect. So I'm going to map the black to a dark pinkish purple color and let's change the white to be a light purple. And then to make this duplicate a little bit transparent, let's reduce the opacity of this entire clip down to 60 so it's more transparent. And let's duplicate it again for video layer two by holding the Alt Option key and dragging down to video layer two and letting go. And now again, using the motion tools, let's move this a little bit farther to the left to stagger it out. And since this clip already has the tint effect applied, all we have to do is go down and change the color. Let's change it to more of an orange red color. So I'll map the black to a dark orange red, and then let's map the white to a light orange color. And one more time, let's duplicate the layer again and use the motion tools to move this layer more to the left for the last color effect. And let's change the tint colors here as well. Let's map the black to, let's say, a dark aqua green and map the white to a light aqua green. And now when we play this back, we have a pretty cool split color effect already, but now we need to move on to create the colorful gradient backdrop. So let's create another sequence. It'll also be 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I'll be sure to call this the final composition because we're going to be adding in the green screen shots 
to the sequence, which I'll show you in just a few moments. So first let's go up to window now and let's select essential graphics to open up the essential graphics panel. And here you can use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle around the entire 1920 by 1080 frame in your program window and make sure your graphic layer is on video layer one. You can move this graphic layer now in your timeline and you will see that from the essential graphics panel, it's actually called shape one and you can right click and rename this to be backdrop if you like, but it's totally optional. So from the fill down from appearance here, let's change this to be a linear gradient, okay? This will allow us to choose two colors, not just one. And you can also add as many colors if you want just by clicking here. And if you don't want that color, just hit delete. So for the first color here, I'm going to choose a purple color just by selecting one down here below. And then for the second color, I'm gonna select that marker and select a lime green color. So here from the program window, you can then move this line here to customize the gradient to be less or more gradual. And I'm going to make it more diagonal here and I like it to be more blended. So I like the way that this is looking. So you can play around with this um, as much as you want until you achieve the blend mode that you like. So now it's time to take the first shot, the dance shot that we just created from the project panel as the sequence and drag this sequence into our current final sequence on top. And then when you do this, you'll notice that it also brings an audio layer over that's just empty. So select the clip, hit Command L on a Mac or Control L on a Mac to unlink these layers. And then you can just select the audio layer and delete it there. So now our video of the dancer has a pretty cool gradient backdrop. And if we go to the BTS video, the DNA music video, you can see that there's a letterbox framing, which basically means that there's a black bar at the top and the bottom. And this just creates a more cinematic look. So to do this, let's just go to effects and you can search for a tool called crop. And let's drop the crop effect onto the background layer. And let's crop the top and the bottom to around 14. You can crop it as much as you want. The more crop that you want, it's a higher number. So it's really easy to use. Crop it however much you like. So now that we have this new letterbox framing, you may need to scale down and reposition the dancer to fit within that letterbox. So to do that, just use the effects controls and scale it down and reposition it. And if you need to, you can also apply a crop effect to the dancing layer as well if you need to crop it better into the frame. And lastly, this is completely optional, but in the opening sequence, you saw some pretty cool glitches that I added as transitions between each dancer. And this was created using the universe plugin by Red Giant. And I'll link to the entire universe pack below if you're interested, but to do this, just simply go to effects and search for universe glitch or it's uni.glitch here and you can drop it on the front end of this clip or you can drop the transition between two dancing clips once you have another clip available. And then from effect controls, they have a button called browse presets and you can actually hover and see all these cool different types of glitches that you can choose from. And I really like the compressed color preset. So I'm just gonna choose that. And now when we play it back, it has this nice compressed color glitch effect. And again, you can just repeat everything that I showed you on each dancing clip that you want until you put together an entire sequence like I had at the beginning of this tutorial. And you may think, okay, so what about that cool RGB separation that you added to your logo here? So what I did was I actually use another part of Universe by Red Giant. It's called the RGB separation effect. And what I did was I just dragged and drop it onto my logo and text here in my timeline. And from effect controls, I got to control how much of a separation just by increasing the radius to give it more of an old school sort of glitch like look. And I also applied a universe glitch stylize effect. So in addition to transitions, there's also stylize effects. So if I just wanted it to have a glitch as it's playing and not be a transition, and from here, I chose a preset called Minor Damage. And this just adds a little bit of subtle glitch to the logo as it plays. If you choose any of the other presets, it looks a little bit too much. So 
I just wanted to show you some of the other effects that you could use with Universe. And right now I'm doing a giveaway with Red Giant. So there's a link in my description box below to enter the giveaway and you can win a free subscription to Red Giant, which is normally priced at $99 per year. So that's all for this tutorial, you guys. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. And lastly, if you want some free templates and priority support for your tech video questions, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash gal. Thank you so much in advance. And also thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.